Hey everyone. Yeah, so yesterday, yesterday kind of Twitter started going a bit nuts about this thing called the Dom element. And I saw a video by Timothy Ricks and it's just like, I need to kind of check this out. And I just said, I'd do a little kind of just a quick, maybe two minute explainer of how cool this thing is. So you can see here, I've got this thing called the Dom and it's not actually available in Webflow as an element but it is available, <laughs> like it's there, but they just haven't given it to us for some reason. And the way Timothy Ricks found it, I believe is he added the Unsplash app and whatever way Unsplash is being used in our browser, the DOM element is part of that. Now, why is this thing so cool? Well, if you, if, I, if we go over here to settings, you can see that the DOM element has a tag so if you think of the tag in the same way that, for example, if I add a div, and we go over here to our settings, we've got div tags. So we've got all this semantic HTML over here that we can play around with. What the DOM element allows us to see the way. So if I remove that, what the DOM element allows us to do is actually create our own tags, provided that they're like HTML5. So like one thing that isn't in Webflow is a button. So we can like actually like there's links, but there isn't actually a button. So now by simply doing that, we've created a button. It's got a tag of button. And this, this kind of gets really cool because now we can potentially use things like on click functions as opposed to, you know, just, just linking things. And we can start maybe targeting things using like JavaScript. Another thing that it allows us to do. So if, like, so there's our DOM. I'm going to style it like my button. It's got a button class and then, you know, you can go in back into it and into the settings here and maybe add some text. So like this is a button. Now there's, there's other kind of ways of doing this. Like you can also actually nest things inside it. So like if the button is, you can just add another div, you can add even a text. So it's like, it's super flexible. You can add more divs inside. So we can like keep nesting things inside it. So it's, it's really, really flexible. So something that I used it for the other day was like literally yesterday. So if I duplicate my button here, I'm going to get rid of the styling and get rid of the tag and get rid of the text. What I did was I turned my, my DOM into, I turned it into an iframe. So you can see now we've got like our a little iframe here. And when I go back into the settings here, you go to these attributes, you can now like use the source attribute, which Webflow didn't allow you to use before. And what we can do, you know, this allows us like add videos or even embed like third party scripts and content, like third party tools. So it's, it's really, really powerful. So like, for example, I've actually used this iframe to add a chat feature into a project that I'm working on. So incredibly powerful i really hope that webflow allow us access this more and even like you know you go into here for certain things like if i go back to this button we go into the settings like there's the potential even for this to be like connected to our cms and stuff with the with, with, with attributes so yeah it's it's really powerful like because like, these are two things that before like if i was to make a button before if i really wanted a button tag I would have had to go embed and you'd have to create like your a tag and give it like a row of button, of button. Like that's the way we used to have to be able to do it. And now we, and like that would have been the correct way to make a button, like something that isn't a link and then close off the tag. If I wanted to make an iframe, I would have had to do something similar. I would have had to type in iframe, add in my source and stuff and go go that way so like these things are fine but it you know you're kind of nesting inside an embed and it causes a bit of problems especially in terms of styling because if you're to style things directly like you would have had to go class equals button and this would have issues that it, you know if you change the class name inside here then it wouldn't change in the outside but you can see that if we just do this now you're just you're styling inside webflow and it just gives some heaps of flexibility so yeah yeah quick explainer there so hopefully Hopefully people are as excited about this thing as I am. Okay, talk soon. Bye.